hi guys welcome to another video in this video i'm gonna show you a cool automation that you can do uh, using airtable and rapidbot whatsapp cloud api integration so uh, let me give you an idea what exactly uh, this video what you can do using these two platforms uh, here you can see i have an airtable base here let me click this script uh, i'm gonna run a uh, airtable script here like i'm gonna send this so basically uh, this will uh, uh, run the a script I, that I created. You can see that has sent it fully. Here I can see I got the message on WhatsApp. So directly from Airtable, you can send a message directly to your WhatsApp. Uh, that is what we are going to build today. So here you can see uh, we uh, actually send a document invoice file on Airtable to the WhatsApp. So this automation is pretty cool. Uh, so if you're working on some similar use cases like you want to send messages from your Airtable database to uh, your customers or clients phone number on WhatsApp, uh, this video will be very useful for you. Uh, this is a demo use case that I'm showing. Uh, in your case, you can build something similar or if you wanted to explore more options, more automations, you can do like Airtable also comes with a lot of automations here. Uh, when some row is already inserted, you can run this uh, same, same, similar logic. Uh, in my case, because we are on the free trial, I can't show you uh, other automation. This is a demo cool use case that you can check it out. Uh, so what exactly we are doing here, I'm running a JavaScript. Uh, whenever a file or a, like we created a button, this is a this field is a button then i'm running a javascript here if you can see uh, basically an airtable script it is called an airtable script so here you can see uh, i can cop uh, i will put this code uh, as reference in the description in the in this video description uh, you uh, can copy the script uh, if you want to use it so this is a basic similar example that i'm going to show you uh, now here you can see we have a webhook URL here. So this is a webhook that is connecting to your RapidPod platform. So whenever the script runs, what we are doing is we are sending all the data, like whatever data in the field that we have we have in the Airtable. All this data we are sending to this particular webhook URL. Uh, this is a inbound webhook. So uh, in RapidBot, uh, you can capture this data. So once you create an inbound webhook. Uh, this is how it will look like so uh, in rapidbot inside the chatbot builder if you go to tools you can find inbound webhook so here you can see i have created an inbound webhook the uh, idea or the advantage of this inbound webhook is you don't you don't need to use any third party uh, application like zapier or Paply or make.com for doing this purpose uh, inside the platform you can create your own inbound webhook like this just copy this url uh, in your case, whenever you're working on, you will get a unique URL address. Just copy that, put it, you can replace it here. So what Excel it does is, once this is uh, like you activated it, so like activated means when once you, uh, uh, this uh, web book is on, turned on, uh, it will be actively listening. So here you can see it will be ac actively listening to any incoming uh, notifications or messages sent to this URL so if i run the script here so let me select the data so here you can see the data sent successfully that means uh, we must get uh, like if you click done you will get the data here directly so then uh, you can map the reference for example here we need the phone number because we are using the whatsapp channel we need to send them the whatsapp template notification so here you can see you can get the phone number this is the data we are sending from the script so here you can see we have the phone number attached uh, as a data. Uh, this is an input we are sending to the inbound webhook. So let's uh, map that. Like you can copy this value and ma map it here. So what happens is uh, our system will check whether there is an existing phone number like this in the contact list of this chatbot. If it is there, we will uh, use that uh, user contact and try to trigger this automation if it is there isn't a number already created oh don't worry the system will automatically create a contact uh, then uh, it will trigger the automation how does it trigger the automation means we have to attach a flow here so you can see choose subflow 
so i have created a sub flow uh, a flow that every time whenever this inbound webhook triggers it will trigger this flow which connected to uh, to that inbound webhook every time whenever an active uh, activity happens on this this will trigger try to trigger this flow also one other thing uh, you can see i have mapped all the response the entire response coming from the inbound the, from the webhook i mapped into a variable called traffic bot invoice in your case you can create any variable type like uh, so this is the json so i prefer we prefer uh, use uh, json like the entire thing you want to map you put it as a json format uh you can create that variable just uh, type the variable that you want uh then you can click on json it will create the variable for you then you can click on add button so that path will be added here uh then save it so uh, this is the flow which is connected rapid air table rapid bot invoice so this is the flow that connected uh to the inbound webhook so let let's have a look at what exactly there so first thing i i'm just mapping the invoice url uh just uh into a variable then i'm sending a whatsapp template message so uh you know in on whatsapp you uh, you know they have the 24 hour window policy so somebody is already interacted uh, send a message from their number to your business that is called user initiated conversation whenever that happens the bot like from any message you can send any messages from the bot uh, you can notify them directly you don't need any template message but if the number hasn't been interacted to your business or outside the 24 hour window you can't simply send a message if you try to do a message uh, it will not be delivered to the customer or the client's number because uh, of this policy it will give you a 24 hour window error so which why uh, in order to prevent that we need to use the template messages which will let you uh, help you with communicating with the people who are outside the 24 hour window so if you want to create a template message that also we have done previously uh, tutorials on that from your content uh, you can set up your own template message you can connect your own whatsapp template message and uh, you can go with the process so that is pretty much everything uh, on uh, building an automation like this so if you have any questions or further uh, doubts or if you get any error feel free to comment below in this video or reach out to our support team once again uh, this is a uh, airtable uh, script and we are using airtable script and rapid bot to do this automation one thing you need to understand the scripting part is uh, only available for uh, paid workspaces on airtable i think it's a paid feature if you have a uh, upgraded updated version of our table i think you can f uh, go through go through this method you can use the scripting or if you have if you are on a free trial uh, on our table you can check out this uh, make.com automation we previously long time ago we done a video on it you can check out that video that video also i will link it below or uh, anywhere in the screen uh, you can follow that video as well Sim similar thing we are using the rapid bot as uh, for the automation and air table to run the script and automation so that's it uh, yeah thank you